The best videos always start with a tractor and a dog. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Dad just fired up the 4640. We are unhooking the chisel plow and we are gonna be hooking the 630 disc up to the 4640 because since we're planning on seeding very soon, it's time that we head out and start disking down some of those waterways. And uh, we're planning on seeding down tomorrow. So dad's gonna take the 46 out and disk down as many waterways as he can. So we're doing like a grass mix for just pretty much everything, uh, except for what I'm putting down and it's seed out of my 11 acres is gonna have a mix of alfalfa thrown into it. So let's unhook the chisel plow. Now the 630 has been put away for a while. After he does about an acre, all those blades are gonna be nice and shiny. Now dad's gonna be utilizing the monitor in the 4640 to Go hit all of our waterways. All of the waterways that your big brother went through and mapped out. And then hopefully tomorrow we can come out and seat down everything with the Kuhn 9400. We unhooked the disc from the 4640 and put that back on the chisel plow so that we can finish the rest of what needs to be plowed. So Travis was actually throwing around the idea of selling the 630 because we just don't use it that much anymore with the VT. Um, as you can see, the blades aren't really that rusty anymore like when we first sent it out. Uh, they are a little bit around the edges, but the more we'd use that, um, they'd be all nice and shiny again. So I sometimes call 
VTs themselves cheat discs because they're not really a true disc. They don't throw dirt like a disc, but they're really not a VT either. They're kind of like a hybrid. And, um, or I should say, the one that we have is a hybrid. Whereas a true vertical tillage tool will have straight blades, but those aren't quite so popular anymore because they weren't really, they didn't really pencil out when you bought them and uh, how long they stretched their value. Pretty, pretty much what happened is that they did a good job until the blades got dull. And then after that, things kind of, they, they just stopped doing a good, a good enough job and they didn't really cut up the material like they did new. So now, um, we're probably going to back this in the shed because we're not going to be using it anymore. Um, we used it to tear up some of these waterways out here that the bulldozer had gone over. They told us to go through with the disc and disc that up because if we seeded right into what the bulldozer had pushed, uh, that it wouldn't really do very good for the grass. It wouldn't really take off. So we took that out there, got that done, and now we're all done with it. And uh, from here on out, we're going to be using the 82 and the VT. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.